If you need to edit your PDFs, you can consider using Sager, which is an online tool that also has a desktop version. It's free to use. And it was able to do 21 out of 25 typical tasks that you may need to do to edit your PDF. It has a variety of additional options that you can select to do to your PDF. And it has a limitation of three additional tasks per hour. And then if you want to use it for more PDFs or more additional tasks, it will ask you to upgrade to $5 per seven days or $7.50 a month or an annual price of $63, which is still a bargain when you consider $175 for Adobe Acrobat Pro. So let's get started and show you how to use it. You go to sager.com. It shows you the list of options it has available. You say edit PDF and select your file. You can zoom in or zoom out to have a better look of what you need to edit. Once you do that, at the very top, you will notice a selection of options that you can do to your PDF. Now, if you want to add a text, you select that option, click somewhere on your PDF, and then you start typing. You can then select the text, make it bold, italic, as well as resize it to larger or smaller. There are also a number of fonts, although not too big of a list. And if you have a font in your PDF, it might not be listed there. So it does show up as not available with a warning. However, my font was there, so I was able to use it. Now, if you sometimes click on the PDF, it's very sensitive and start typing another text for you, you can delete it easily. You can change the existing text, which is really helpful. And you can do any kind of modification the same way as to a new text. You can also move text boxes as well as any other elements easily and cut and paste. So you can take the text from one section and then paste it somewhere else. And then you can resize it and perform any other editing to the text. Now, what I also like that you can align the text boxes because sometimes, you know, when you add the text, you want to make sure it looks professional when you finalize it. So you can align it when you move it. You see these guides show up that helps you align your elements nicely in the PDF. You can also go to annotate at the top and click highlight, select the color and highlight your text. The first option just lets you highlight very straightforward, like very straight highlight, but you can also select a freehand highlight so it looks more like a hand marker highlight. Now, if you want to delete it, you select it and then you have the delete option or change the color of your highlight. You can always do that even after you did the highlight already in your PDF. You can also use whiteout or redact your text by selecting the option and highlighting the text, but it does say that this is not suitable for redacting sensitive information because the text is still underneath. And you can change the color of the cover up to black to make it more redact looking document. You can also add links by selecting links and then cover the text you want to link and then you put the address of the link. What I also like that you can also remove and link from previous text. Let's say if you have a link somewhere, you can select that text and then delete the link. So that's really helpful. Now you still have the underline if you click the text tool and then click on the link text again, it will remove the link. You can also remove and add new images. If you click on the image and then click delete images, or if you go to images, new image, select the image you want to place in your document, then you can place it wherever you like, and then you can resize it if it's very large and reposition it. After that, you are also able to rotate the image if you like. Now, one thing you cannot do is you cannot layer things. So you cannot put the text, let's say, behind the image, but that's less ask for task. Now, you also can't remove an existing watermark. So if there's a watermark in the document, I was not able to remove it. Now, finally, you can also insert pages like a blank page in between your pages and you can delete the pages. If you wanted to reorganize and if you are wanting to rotate, you get a message that rotating the page is a separate tool. Do you want to go on? And you can go to these options later on. Now with the PDF, sometimes you have forms and you want to be able to edit forms. And there is an option for forms. You can put check marks, access, you can select 
radio buttons, add radio buttons, and you can name the fields and name the options and make everything editable in your document. A drop down menu can be added. You select the option and then you just have to type in the names for the options and then make it editable. A lot of form options in the Sager tool. Now you can also add signatures by going to sign and then you type in your name and you will have few font options. Then once you select it, you click somewhere where you want to place it. We can resize it and delete it if you're not happy with it. You can also add signature by drawing it on your trackpad and then placing it the same way resizing, changing, and so on. Now, once you satisfy, you can click the apply changes. And once you do that, it's going to be processed and you'll be able to download your document. Now, at this point, you can still do additional things to your documents, such as compression, split, crop, as well as additional things. Let's say we want to add watermark. If we click the watermark option, you'll be able to type in your text, let's say draft, and then you can rotate it, change the font color and sizing, opacity, and you can also freehand resize it and position it differently as you like. Once you're satisfied, you can click the watermark PDF option at the very bottom to finalize your document. At this point, you're still able to perform additional things to your document. Let's say if we wanted to add pages or maybe header or footer, you can select that option. And I'm just going to keep the default as it is and click add header footer. Once it's processed, now you might not see it right away because I actually went with the default, which is at the top of the page, but you can see it the last page. If I finalize at this point, it'd be good. But let's say if I select to protect my document and I'm going to add some password and select encrypt PDF. If I select this, now you're getting this message saying you reach your free limit of three tasks per hour. If you want to continue, you have to either upgrade or you can go backwards by clicking the back button. And I was happy that I was didn't lose everything that I've done to this point and I was able to save my document without doing that less protection. And if I open the document, you can see that everything worked out. I don't have a Sager watermark. I just have my watermarks that I added to the document. So it's a really useful, easy to use tool with some limitations. Thanks for watching.